Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to configure different type of load balancing method in F5 Big IP LTM appliance. They are dynamic ratio load balancing, fastest load balancing, least connections load balancing method, observed load balancing method and predictive load balancing method. Just to recall, in our previous tutorials, starting with the tutorial we have configured round robin method then in our previous tutorial we have configured pool based load balancing method node based load balancing method and static ratio load balancing method so before we begin with the configuration of this load balancing method let's have a short definition of dynamic ratio load balancing this will be the first load balancing method which we are going to configure in this tutorial so what is dynamic ratio load balancing in dynamic ratio load balancing big ip system assigns a ratio value to each individual pool member based on a set of default or user defined threshold values the ratio assigned to an individual pool member determines that how much traffic the pool member will receive the higher ratio value pool member will receive more traffic, the lower ratio pool member will receive less traffic. As it is a dynamic ratio load balancing method, the admin cannot define the ratio. We have discussed this when we were discussing different types of load balancing method. So how the appliance F5 Big IP LTM appliance will decide how much number of connection should go to which server device so this is the formula default dynamic ratio formula this is just for your information that how the dynamic ratio load balancing is calculated by the f5 big ip ltm appliance moving on we will be starting with the configuration the first is dynamic ratio Let's go to local traffic and then going to pull over here in the pull list. We will be using our very first server pool which we have configured. It was a web server pool. We won't be working on this pools for now. So let's click over here on the web server pool. Uh, sorry, not in the web server pool. We are going to just over here in the members pool members and then clicking over here we will change the load balancing method this will be dynamic ratio load balancing method once you have selected this click on update button it is updating the configuration and it is updated so now we will go to our client machine and we will initiate the connection as we are doing from the starting. Over here we are going to put our virtual server IP address. And the method which we have covered till now, all those links I will be putting in the same video description box. So those who have missed those can refer those tutorials as well and then come over here. Let's refresh the page and initiate some connections on the servers. Now we will just go to the statistics and over here we will check the connections initiated using the dynamic ratio load balancing method. The statistic type will be pools and let's expand this web server pool. Refresh the page. So as you can see, for this web server pool, total 11 connections were initiated, 3 connections requests were handled by web server 1, 5 
went to web server two and he went to web server three. So how this connections fit to web server one, web server two, web server three using a dynamic ratio load balancing method is decided using this formula. So moving on to the next load balancing method is fastest load balancing method. We'll go to local traffic and then over here in the pool, go to the pool list and just click on this member for web server pool. Over here, we will change the load balancing method to fastest and update it. Now again, we will go to end machine and we will initiate the connections. Just re keep refreshing the page to initiate the connections. Guys, just add a note over here. We have configured dynamic ratio load balancing method and initiate the connection, right? So the statistics will be shown for that as well. And then now we have configured the fastest load balancing method. So what we will do very first, we will reset the statistic and then we will initiate the connection so that you will come to know the output of the fastest load balancing method. Let's go to uh, web GUI of F5 LTM appliance and over there we will just reset the statistics. We'll go to local traffic pools and for this pool we will reset the connection. Now it has turned to zero. So now we will initiate the connections from the client machine and we will check the output for our load balancing method which is fastest. This is the one which we have done, right? Fastest. So for this now we will initiate the connection. Since we have reset the statistics of the connections, we will get a better idea now for the output. Keep on refreshing. Now let's go to GUI of the F5 Big IP and we will just check the statistics for this fastest load balancing method. Click on pool and you can see over here that total 8 connections were initiated and all the 8 connections has hit web server 1. So just to recall the definition of the fastest load balancing method we have seen that in this load balancing method client connection is distributed to the server device whose response rate is fast so the response rate of our web server one is fast and that is the reason that f5 big ip has sent all the requests to web server one when we have chosen fastest load balancing method additionally if you remember, we have discussed that the fastest load balancing method consider server device performance and supports and it also supports node and pool member assignment. But the important thing uh, which you have to focus is that the load balancing method has considered the server device performance and as per F5 Big IP, the server device performance of the web server one is good. So all the connections has hit to web server one. Now. Let's move to the another load balancing method, which is least connection. Again, we will go to local traffic. But before that, what we are going to do, we will reset this so that again we don't have to come here and we can easily see the output for our next load balancing method. We have reset the connection and now we will move to local traffic, pools, pool list and just click on web server pool member and we will change the load balancing method to list connections we go with list connections member update it now it is updated we will move on to our client machine to initiate the connection
and we will start to initiate the connections. Now we will move to F5 appliance and we will check the statistics. As usual, the static statistics type will be pool and we will check the statistics for our web server pool. You can see that in total six connections were initiated. So Web server 1 got 2, web server 2 got 2, web server 3 got 2 connections. Just add a node over here that the list connection method, observe load balancing method and predictive load balancing method all three perform similar to how the round robin method performs. The first method which we have learned was round robin and if you remember the round robin in round robin method we were getting the connections evenly and alternatively similarly the least connection observe load balancing method and predictive method works this is justified that the least connection method works like a round robin where you get a even connections let's move on to observe load balancing method we will as usual reset this to check the output for the next load balancing method which we are configuring so let's go to local traffic click on pool pool list and for web server pool click on member and over here we will change the load balancing method to observed member load balancing update it and again we will go to client machine initiate the connection and check the output for this load balancing method We have initiated few connections now we will move to uh, statistics in f5 big ip gui over here go to model statistics click on local traffic check the statistics for pools Let's expand this web server pool you will see that over here also six connections were initiated in total Two went to web server one, two went to web server two, two went to web server three. The behavior is almost similar to round robin method. Let's configure the last load balancing method, which is project two. Let's reset this output and we will move to local traffic pool. Pool list and we will change the round sorry we will change the load balancing method to predict you we'll go with predictive member and update it now as usual we will go and we will initiate the connections Let's again move to the statistics again you can see the six connections were initiated the two went to web server one web server two web server three two each this justifies that the last three load balancing method which we have configured on f5 big ip that is list connection, observe load balancing and productive load balancing almost behave like the round robin method. So that's all guys we have covered almost with all the load balancing method we have configured each and every load balancing method and we have checked the output after initiating the connection from our client machine. That's all in this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will be discussing about the server device health monitoring and we will be configuring the this on f5 big ip load balancer the server device health monitoring we will be configuring on f5 big ip load balancer if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share it with your friends 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.